Ine Garcia, and I'm going to talk about the great campaign that we have for you guys to, to write about. It's called Love Food, Give Food. So it's a chance for food establishments and foodies and food media alike to save the lives of Southerners' children here in the Philippines by using food to fundraise. So Action Against Hunger launched this campaign way back in 1997 in France, and it's been existing across uh, 13 countries all in all, including the Philippines. And here in the Philippines, we launched it last uh, 2016. Previously, it was known as Restaurants Against Hunger. And the goal has always been to ignite the active participation of food establishments, food lovers, food media, to stop the upward trend of malnutrition here in the Philippines. We changed the name to Love Food, Give Food, primarily because we hope to get the support of all types of food establishments, not just restaurants. So, food kiosks, bakeries, cafes, carinderias, silog houses, even home-based online food vendors, we want everybody to join. And we know that all of these guys would like to help as well fight hunger here in the Philippines. Everyone can be part of the solution, and love food, give food, makes their food good in more ways than one. So the way it works is really simple, guys. Uh, the campaign is from October 1 to December 1. And during this time, during this two-month period, food establishments raise funds for Action Against Hunger's projects here in the Philippines, by the way. It's not going, although we are an international organization, any funds that we raise here in the Philippines stays in the Philippines. So the campaign period from October 1 to December 1, and the ways that they can raise uh, response is first, they encourage the customers to order the participating dish. So restaurants choose one, two, or more, or all of their dishes, and these dishes will be called charity dishes, and every time you order that dish, a portion goes to Action Against Hunger for our projects. So the good part is that we know it's a business. You know, restaurants is a business. Food establishments are a business. We do not dictate how much they should give for every order of that dish. So you don't you don't get a report, so it's really voluntary for the restaurants. I like to emphasize that because you know there are certain restaurants that are small and there's also restaurant food establishments that are big. So it really depends on how much they are willing to give. And last year a lot of customers and a lot of restaurant uh, food establishments mentioned to me that a lot of people were asking if there's a way for them to do, directly donate to action against hunger. So, uh, because they say they don't want to order the charity dish. So, this year, we have a way. So in certain restaurants, in certain food establishments, there will be donation boxes and customers can ask their servers for a envelope and then they, they put the, their donation and they can put it directly in the donation box. Some uh, food establishments will be having this but some do not. So uh, just uh, look for that and ask the servers. So there's two ways they raise funds, basically. First is through the dishes, or the charity dishes, or the food item. And the second is by encouraging their uh, customers to donate directly. And joining the campaign is so easy. All you have to do is go to lovefoodgoodfoodphilippines.org. So I'll turn on the website later on to show you guys. And all you have to do, actually, I have it here in my phone. So, the website's here. It's mobile already. And if you know any food establishment that would like to join, you just need to click the join now. I know you can't see it, but go to the website later. later. And then, <coughs> there is the form. 
and then they just click join now and that's it. And the best part is that we know that running a food business is hard. Which is why all food establishments that join need not worry on how to promote the campaign because we will be providing them with kits. So everything, all of our marketing and promotion, all of them, all of the restaurants that we join will have these kits. So included in these kits are fundraising guide. So all they need, all the information they need uh, to implement the campaign is in the guide. They will get <coughs> table cards. For each table, 50 pieces, and of course if they need more, we all, we're more than happy to send them more table cards. Uh, of course, the Ampau. And I mean, it's crucial that the frontliners, the servers, are informed of the campaign so that they know what they're doing or what they're working for. So we will also be giving them these info notes for staff that they can put in their uh, in their bulletin. To remind them, uh, in their premises, so that indicates that they will be joining the campaign. Love Food, Give Food is easy to implement, does not entail much marketing costs, and it unites the staff and the consumers, whether you're the restaurant customers, the food establishment customers, for a great cause. As of today, the food establishments that have confirmed their participation in the 2019 edition are Alba, Baker and Cook, Buffalo Wild Wings, Bulgogi Brothers, Cafe Mediterranean, Chef Lodico OK Cafe, uh, Chelsea Kitchen, Chocomate, and Isakaya, the Coconut Club, Corner Tree Cafe, They Do, and Sinkada Cafe Bistro, Dennis, Fish and Co., Friends and Family, Gallery by Shelle, First Green Pastures, uh, Holy Grill, Italianis, Italia Sensu, Kabila, Cax Happy Food, Crazy Garlic, La Petite Formidra, uh, Museum Cafe, The Lost